Today I want to review my mattress, which I've been using since 2018. It's the Firmares Neo Air Xterm Max, and I'm using it in the summer and in the winter on all of my camping trips. And if you followed any of my camping videos, you've seen it multiple times. Hi everyone, this is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams and I'm bringing you this long overdue gear review for my mattress. Like I said, I've used it many times. I use it on all of my trips, no matter what the season is. And it's my trusted go-to mattress in all conditions, really. <laughs> I love this so much. It's the lightest, smallest and most comfortable mattress I've ever owned and I've owned quite a few of them and uh, a lot of Firmarest mattresses also but this is by far my favorite. Um, before I unpack it I just wanted to show you the size really quick. It's really tiny. This has the stuff sack and the airbag it's the same thing. It has that on top, so it's a little bit taller, but otherwise you see just how small this thing is. So let's unpack it and fill it up with air, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it while I do that. I only use the airbag to inflate my mattress to avoid moisture from building up inside. It would very likely grow mildew, which is really what we want to avoid to extend the life of our mattress. The airbag also holds a lot more air than we ever could. I already mentioned that this mattress is super warm even in the winter. It has an R value of 6.9. This value is used to measure insulation. The higher the number, the warmer it will be. To compare it, the R value for the summer mattresses is usually around 3 to 4. Firmarest just came out with a new version of this mattress called the Neo Air X-Term NXT. And the R value for it is actually even higher. It's at 7.3 versus my 6.9. And they also cut the weight down by 28 grams or 1 ounce, which is pretty amazing. By the way, the mattress also comes with a patch kit. But when mine was delivered, I was so excited about the mattress and trying it out that I accidentally threw my patch kit out. I had to buy a new one to take on my camping trips, which is basically a tape that I could use to patch up some holes if I ever have some. You can read a lot in the reviews that this mattress is a little bit crinkly, the sound of it. And I have to admit, it's true. <laughs> It does sound a little bit like a chips bag, but it has never bothered me at night or anyone who was in the tent with me. So I'm not too concerned about that. It, it really doesn't bother me. All the positive things about this mattress outweigh this one little crinkly weirdness that it has. Yeah, it's super durable. It has a 70D nylon on the bottom, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. I wanted something that is really sturdy, is not easy to puncture, and will hold up to anything I put it through. <laughs> the top has a slightly lighter fabric. It has a 30D um, rip HT, I think they called it. So it's a little bit lighter, but still very durable. I do somehow have a leak in it. It's been going on for a while, so it's a very, very slow leak. And I have to refill it just a little bit every night. So at some point I will have to test it out and see where that comes from. If I have a little puncture or something, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so I use it in the winter. I use it directly on the snow, um, well, in the tent, of course, but I don't put any other layer underneath it and it's really warm. It's uh, reflecting 
my warmth back at me really well. But of course uh, you have to get a good sleeping bag as well, which I'm going to review also. And I will put the link actually in the description below uh, so you can look that up. Another reason why I love it is I'm a side sleeper and so any kind of harder mattress or thinner mattress is really hard on my hip and on my shoulders. Uh, I can't sleep very well and it, uh, it hurts after a while and this has been the most comfortable one for sleeping on the side. It, you know, it's like it's an air mattress so it's, it really gives to your body and it does really well. I bought the max version, which is the the one that has the corners versus the the bivy kind of uh, shaped mattress because I use it uh, in the winter as well and I wanted all of the surface that I sleep on uh, covered in mattress so I don't accidentally have a, my foot or my hand outside of the mattress and it gets cold. I right? basically wanted as much cover of the mattress as I could and the weight difference really isn't big enough for me uh, to to really worry about it they do have some accessories for it as well they have sheets for it and if you buy a second one that is the same size there are also straps that you can put the mattresses together I don't have any of that it's just extra weight to carry and I always sleep in the sleeping bag anyway, or at least have some clothes. So um, I'm not really too worried about the sheets or anything like that. But the option is there. Firmarest also makes a chair kit called the Tracker Chair. I've used it for many, many years with my older Firmarest mattress and it works really well for that. But for this mattress here, it's a little bit cumbersome because there's so much air in it, you actually have to deflate it a little bit to use the chair and then inflate it again at night when you sleep on it. So I've only tried it a couple of times and I really wasn't happy with it. And I've just gone back to my old mattress with the chair kit. And now with my Helinox chair, I don't even need it anymore. The bag you can use, of course, uh, for clothes. You can use it as a stuff sack for clothes. You can put clothes in it at night, use it as a pillow. It does have a drawstring to close it, so you can use it that way. I never do because I always use compression bags for my clothes and I have a really comfortable pillow that I use rather than just random stuff that I put in here. I've done that once and I wasn't a big fan of it. so <laughs> I do take good care of uh, this bottom part that is attached to the valve when you blow up the mattress. Um, I make sure that I detach it gently from the valve so it doesn't rip or do anything weird. Uh, I want it to last as long as possible. This bag came with it. They sell some bigger bags as well that have even more space and give you more air volume, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's about it really. I really highly, highly recommend this mattress. I've recommended it to all of my friends who were looking for new mattresses. Some bought them, some didn't, <laughs> but I've been so happy with it. And I, even if this one um, needs to be replaced at some point, I will get another one of those for sure. It, I put it through so many paces in the summer, in the winter, and it has been super warm for me always. At one point also in the summer because it reflects so much heat back at you uh, you can actually get away with a lighter sleeping bag or even just a quilt or a blanket because this thing will just keep you warm and comfortable so if you think uh, a lighter mattress might work better for the summer it can but then you could only use it for the uh, the free seasons and then it'll be too cold for the winter and i definitely uh, want to use it in the winter also that's it for me for this review of this Firmarest Neo Air Extra Max. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments and I'll get back to you for sure. If you have any um, experience with this mattress, positive or negative, I would love to hear about it. Take good care, guys, and I hope you're going to be on adventure very soon with this mattress or any other. <laughs>